So before you create your first Pinterest ad, I just want to go over some notes about creating high quality pins that you can use for your Pinterest ads. First off, always use high quality photos. I like to think of these promoted pins as billboards for my website that will forever be on the Pinterest newsfeed. Next, I always like to split test images and text in my Pinterest ads. So to do this, I'll upload two varying photos, customize my text under each one of those photos, then repeat those two pins and flip flop the text description for each one of those photos. So I have four total pins and four total variations of an AB split test for photos and an AB split test for the photo description. One note on the images, remember all your images should be 600 pixels wide by unlimited length. Look at these three examples. Take advantage of longer images as they take up more area in your customer's Pinterest feed. In addition to creative visual elements, promoted pins need to include soft call to actions to help increase engagement. Remember, soft call to actions include telling your customer what you want from them. Sign up here, repin now, buy this product at. One note though, per Pinterest regulations, images in promoted pins cannot feature commercial and functional calls to action. So an example of this, if you have an actual button image in your promoted pin photo, this is a promoted pin that will be rejected. Because think of it, that buy now button is creating a commercial call to action. So think long term. Once a campaign is on Pinterest, it lives there forever like a never ending billboard. It works like this. First you advertise your pin to your target audience. Someone who sees the pin, John, repins it. Then 20 of John's followers repin it. Then 15 of those followers click on your promoted pin. Three of them make a purchase. So always make sure your pins lend themselves to long-term use. So really avoid promoting pins that have expiring coupon codes in them or pins that are only relevant for this week. The never ending billboard is a really great analogy to describe promoted pins. So create timeless, well-branded pins and these will be perfect promoted pins forever. So these are the most common reasons why a pin won't get approved for promoted pins. First is irrelevant targeting. Remember, if you're selling fashion apparel and you're targeting football fans, Pinterest is going to call you on it right away. They don't want misleading ads that are confusing people and driving them away from Pinterest because they're like, I search fashion. Why is this football player coming up? Next, excessive hashtags in the description. Usually anything over two will get my promoted pin rejected. Next is promotional material. Remember what I said. Promoted pins are not commercial call to actions. There can't be any coupons, no 10% off, no buy now buttons. So this leads into the next thing, price in the pin description. Remember timeless, the price may change on this item. The next thing is no content on the destination landing page. What they're trying to deter here is you capturing people via your conversion pixel that are interested in a certain demographic, whether it's fashion, whether it's whatever topic you're promoting. But by having no content on your landing page, Pinterest just sees that as kind of a swindle of you trying to attract people, capture them with a pixel, and then remarket maybe something else to them. So you have to have that relevant landing page to get your promoted pin approved. And then finally, calls to action in the pin image, no buy now buttons. Again, this is not a commercial call to action. Promoted pins are more of a snapshot of your brand. Remember, these promotional pins are a never ending billboard. So that's why Pinterest rejects promoted pins for these reasons listed. They want high quality, value adding content that's very relevant to the audience you're targeting. So things that aren't sales pitchy, no promo content, nothing that can be outdated quickly. So here's a website to write down, pinterest.com backslash business. And then one specific board on that page is great promoted pins. What Pinterest has done on this business page is to show examples of the best pins out there. So you can see the example I posted is for the company Lululemon. Look at the soft call to action for the pin title, exercise tips for a busy schedule. That title subliminally draws in busy people 
and anybody looking for exercise tips. Next in the description, we see that there are six steps on how to fit exercise into your daily routine. I love the marketing use of X number of top tips. That's such a great article title idea. It lets the customer know up front that you have a quick, just six tip guide for making exercise easy. By stating the number of steps or tips they will have to read, so the busy potential customer goes, oh wow, only six steps? That sounds short. Sure, I'll click this link. So now with the power of website tags, because this person that clicked through and was redirected to the article on their site, this site has now captured you with those conversion tracking website tags, and then they can remarket to you. Especially if you have those pixels in place from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All this traffic you're driving to your website, you can remarket to later on all these social media platforms. And especially since it's a warm audience, you can promote products and promotions to them. But it all starts with luring them in with quality content. And that's what I love Pinterest for. Not so much sales pitches, not so much promotions, but rather quality content that makes them want to come to your website. So post your how-tos. Post these great tip guides. Post value-adding things on Pinterest with a high-quality, long image that is 600 pixels wide. 